the conduction current. You know, as the magnet goes by, the magnet wants to couple to it, and wants to turn the aluminum. So, so if you change the angle of the cone geometrically against the magnet, watch. Uh -oh. It will change the oh, speed. You're lifting it up. Oh, yeah. See? Oh, I see. So if I change the angle more. It's not really touching it. Well, it's so cool. No, it's not touching Snips. it. Yeah. It's not touching it at all. It's, it's those are any currents in the aluminum. Yeah, right? Well, when the neon magnet goes by the aluminum, it makes a circulating current, and it couples, and it drags the aluminum along with it. The same thing in an induction motor? Yeah. It's got that aluminum core, it's a rotating field around, yeah. and it drags the aluminum around with it. Science is science, guys. You're not going to change it. That's the same if you drop a magnet through a yeah, copper pipe, exactly. right? And it right. slows it down when it goes the through. The currents are going to keep it yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. See, so if you line it up or you change, as you change the angle, watch. Why does the uh, coil uh, split and one go on top and one go because on top? Because it's a, a two-wound coil. You're seeing this phase, and this phase, and this phase, and this phase. How many, um, is that, is that two different windings? Or How many yeah. windings are in there? And where? There's, there's two, two different, different windings here, here, and there's two different windings here. Yeah. How do you get more than one phase out of only one transistor? The transistor has nothing to do with the phase. It's just a switch. Right? Well, you have two phases. Phase are phase. the magnets that are changing in polarity as they go by the coils. How do you wind the coils? Oh, no, you have to put, make, put wood dolls mm -hmm. and you make the loops. Would See, you just hammer split. nails into a board? That's what I did at yeah. first. Wow. And then, okay, and then how are they wound? Size how are they wound? Well, they're wound like this. And this is wound like this. So, is it... Is it no, it's a carbon grapple. Are, are the two windings coming off and wound together at the same time? They're not lit yeah, or anything no, like that? No, no, no. This wire comes with, with the wires already together. Oh, okay. So they're bonded together. Oh, all right. Okay. This wire here is independent. There's two at one time. And notice there's a lot more air. Do the number of turns on the coils matter much? Yeah, they do. Yeah. There's 300 turns here, and there's 900 turns here. No, this, no. Is, this is thinner. This is smaller so and this is bigger. It's like a three to one trans. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So that little guy in the middle, he competes the basic transistor? Just no, this little collector. guy here, this little guy here. He's a collector. If you see when the magnet, this is like a window. Here, let me put this on. It will go over here. Let me show you guys something. I didn't want to put it on the film because I'm not supposed to talk about it. But I started to do it, then I got wound up in some else. Uh, Slide you back. <laughs> now we're going to move in. <laughs> if this is the coil, right? And this is space surrounding it. There's a couple of space. Nothing at all. If, if things were coupling in space, if everything was coupling right now, you'd see electrical discharges everywhere. Every once in a while, when things get just right in the atmosphere and you get the charges right, you get light. Okay. So space is whatever height we're at here, there's a voltage gradient, right? It's like, 
zero volts and 20 volts and 200 volts and 800 volts and 4,000 volts. Because that's the way it is. Right? A coil in space has no meaning unless you can do something with it. Where does the high voltage come from from the coil? Because it's just a piece of wire that's wound around here, right? First of all, let me ask you a question. Do you know what back EMF is? Yeah, what it's, is it? It's induced EMF when it's nothing. Like when the field is EMF. collapsing, it induces if, if the battery look, look, if the battery is 12 volts here and this is zero volts, the only back EMF that can come from this coil, this is your big mistake is less than the 12 volts. That's not what gives you this. Think about that. Before you go nuts. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I wrote this paper for Edinburgh and they wouldn't bell my shit. They said we can't teach them that. We cannot teach them that. There's a DVD back there with me from one of the PhDs from Edinburgh. And we're writing the paper. Remember what I said. This right here is nothing more than an energy pump. Okay? You know what I mean by an energy pump? It's a pump. Creates an electromagnetic field that collapses that compresses this yeah. material into this little blotch wall. And when the electricity goes away, what does this blotch wall do? Expands. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It goes beyond and your voltage goes 300 volts. Oh yeah. Exactly the height of the atmosphere that the coil's at. Go check it out. So if the coil is at a higher elevation, you'll get a higher... Yeah, you'll get a higher voltage. <laughs> the gradient's different. So, did you ever build this tall one? Absolutely. I moved to 2,300 feet to find out <laughs> from sea level. <laughs> Oh, so you don't have to, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be really tall. You can go no. up at a higher location. Yes, yes, and you get a higher voltage. Did it like blow things up when you did that? No, you see, these things are in gradients, right? So say this is uh, 500 feet, and you can get the gradient in this, which may only come to here. And what is the number for the gradient, 150 volts per meter? Yeah, something like that. It's close. It can be. It can be less. Depending on what the coil is. How thick the wire is, what the inductance is. See, what I noticed was, doing this experiment, is charting this, I noticed that, that, that the altitude had a lot of difference to do with it. And what what area you were in had a lot of difference to do with it. Geographic location. Yes. Elevation. Yeah. And and the and the more that I wound the coil, right? Well of course the more I got. Because the higher it got, but the more voltage it took to push that blotch wall in. So what you're looking at is something like this. That's what you're looking at. So what does that make up, guys?
lotus. Lotus petals. Makes up a pattern in nature. John, so uh, what you're innovating also, let's say for example, I live in an area where there's uh, uh, still uh, a lot of old copper in the ground and also a lot of quartz in the rock formations. You go grab Peter Linderman. Yeah. And Peter Linderman will tell you we built identical machines. Mine worked. He went up north, his didn't work. Brought his machine back to my place of work. Got it. Okay. Um, so the reason yeah. Is it? yeah, because your the magnetic field is spinning. It's spinning one way on one side and the other way on the other side. And, and what you want to do, what you're thinking about doing here is you want to create an energy pump. You want to suck it in, compress it, and let it go. Same thing. I never found it. I tried it. I got it to work every which way once I understood exactly what it was. I could build any one of them in the No, no. Which, which book or video has this in the The one, I don't, it doesn't, I don't never put this in a video. I never put this in a video. I never showed anybody this because of what they said. They said, well, does it generate a magnetic impulse here? What they told me was we could never teach this because then we wouldn't have any control on anything. Who's there? All the schools, everything, all the professionals. They would wreck the system. So, yeah. so let's, this is not explained anywhere? No, no, not no. explained as a pump. When you say block wall, what do you mean by that? Watch wall. Watch. Watch. Feel. Get on your phone yeah. and type it in the internet. Watch okay. wall. V O O C H. V O O C H. Because as the magnetic field gets compressed, the copper, copper adds its own magnetic field to counter. Cool. So you're, you're making a scattering, but that's that's what I mean. 